Hello, good evening, welcome to all of you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, tell me, how, how is the weather in your area? It is, it is raining? It is raining, teacher. Okay, maybe in the whole country is in the same situation. I'm not pretty sure about that, but the news says something like that. But we are ready to start now. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Thank you. How do you feel today? I am fine, you? Pretty good, ready? He's so great. Okay. Well, we are ready, just waiting.
Okay. Let me see how many people do we have now? Yes, 13. Okay, welcome to all of you. I hope that you can listen very well. We are going to start our class in a few minutes. Just waiting for the rest of the class. I hope that all of you can be there in order that you can interact with each other. So welcome to everyone. Hello, Gavi. Gavi is there, Sara, Gisela. Hello, Cecilia, America. Welcome, America. Hello, teacher. Hello, Cecilia. Hector is a listener. Hey, Mercedes is a listener. Natalie is there too. Esmeralda. Carlos Amilcar. Janet. Okay, we are still waiting for the rest of the class. But we are going to start because we need to use in the right way our time. So, Okay, wait, 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 little bit. Okay, here we go. Let us start. Let me check up. No escucho. Me volveré a conectar, Janet. Okay. Okay, Janet. Well, let, let me introduce my topic first, and later on we are going to start with. Okay, this is a session uh, number 11. Seven. So we'll start talking about hold on a second. I don't know what is happening with my computer. Something is working properly. Okay, this is the topic for today, talking about your company vocabulary. Okay, listen again, talking about your company vocabulary. That is the main topic. And we are going to start with this activity. Okay, hold on a second, please.
and the computer is not working the right way. So uh, let me share this activity with you. Okay, this is, uh, you, we are going to use good and will for requests. Bad, I guess it's gonna be verified, share it and you resolve. Okay, hold on a second, please. Let me. Okay, you got it there in the shot. Just double click and, and, and resolve. And we are going to start it in this way. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Teacher, I am driving yet, and then I can do this. The, the exercise. You can? I am driving yet. I am oh, driving yeah. yet. Oh, I, got I, can do... I got it. You are driving right now. To do the exercise. Okay, don't worry about it. Just listen. Yes, one moment. Only, only listen. Okay, no problem. Okay, try to resolve, please. I finished, teacher. Okay. Just wait a little bit for the rest. I finished, teacher. Finish, teacher. Okay. I'm going to share it and you are going to resolve right here. I, I finished, teacher. Okay. Okay, what about this one? What you'd like to order? Well or good? Good. Good teacher. Good teacher. Good teacher. Okay, let me see here. Let it be. Let it be, okay. The next one. I had the fried chicken. Will. Will. Letter A. Letter A. Okay, correct. Let it be. Let it be? Yes. Yes, let, let it be. be. 
Would you, like, would you like rice or potatoes? Okay. What about number four? I like french fries. Oh. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B, teacher. I would like french. I would like french fries, okay. And number four, I had the soup of the day. Letter A. Little wheel. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, we start this way our class today. I'm going to show you again. I'm going to show you again with you. Okay, this is the topic talking about your company vocabulary practice. Okay, uh, could somebody describe me what you see in, 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 the, in the video? Just tell me what is happening here in this picture. It excuse all the problem in the workplace, you show? Okay, could be, uh, good idea, someone else. Someone else, please. Drink coffee, teacher. Drinking coffee. Okay, something else. Uh, teacher, uh, a teamwork in a meeting in order to to take decisions, important decisions. Okay. Okay, someone else? Teacher, maybe uh, planning a business strategy? Strategy, okay. Maybe they are planning uh, a business strategies. Okay, perfect. They are reading reports, teacher. And also they are discussing uh, the result or something. Maybe a, a campaign. Okay, thank you. Bien, pas. Okay, what else? Okay, let me check out the attendance first, and then you can continue talking about the picture. Okay, America, I saw you there. Say hello, please, if you are there. Hello, teacher. Okay, welcome. Glad to see you again. Carlos Amilcar. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, Cecilia Maribel. Present, teacher. Erwin Alexis. Edwin Alexis Perez. It's not here. Okay. Edwin Alfredo. Is driving. Present teacher. Is driving. Present. Okay. Yeah. Okay, be careful, sir. Esmeralda del Rosario. Present teacher. Okay. Yes, present. Okay, welcome. Um Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Gabi Sirin, Gabi Sirin. Present teacher. Okay, I got it. Eh, Gisela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Hector. Present teacher. 
Okay, welcome. Uh, Ingrid. Ingrid. It's not here, Ingrid. Okay, Jonathan. Present. Eh, Don Jose Alemán. <coughs> Okay, um, Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Okay, sir, two. Um, Natalie. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Mauricio. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Mercedes. Present teacher. Okay. Roxana. Roxana. Alvarez. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Tara. Sara Alejandra. Sergio Adolfo. Sara is there. Sara is there. Pero no activo el micrófono. I don't know what is happening there. Hello, Sara. Oh, I can, uh, can hear you. I hear you so far away from here. Le estamos oyendo muy lejos, Sara. <clears throat> Eh, teacher, creo que ya me había mencionado, pero no pude responder. Ingrid, Ingrid, Geraldina. Present. Ok, thank you. Bueno, ya vimos, Sara is there. El micrófono lo tiene bajito, por eso no le oímos bien. Present, teacher, es que no me da fallas el micrófono. Ahí está. No sé por qué. Ahora sí, se le pone on a strike, se le pone en huelga. Se le pone en huelga el micrófono. Ok, no problem. Um, Sergio. Sergio. No here. Janet del Carmen. Present teacher. Ok, Janet is there. And Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia Lisset. Vamos a ver. Bueno. Let us continue then with our class. I am going to share the same slides. You already mentioned what is happening there. So uh, we are going to continue talking about your company vocabulary. In order to do that, let me show you something else here. My goodness. Well, we are going to continue in this one. Let's start. Okay, number one. Do you usually help your co-workers with their tasks? And the second one said, do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? Okay, tell me. What is the meaning of tasks in uh -huh. Spanish? Como uh tareas? -huh. Yes. Okay. I usually help my co-workers uh, with the report or my co-worker help to me. Okay. I do to do their to do my tax. Your tasks, okay. That means that you help each other. You help each other. Se ayuda I... mutuamente. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. And, and do you often ask a worker to help you with your tasks?
Okay, let us continue. Someone else, do you usually help your co-workers with their tasks? Do you often ask a worker to help you with your tasks? Just let me know, please. Tell me. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. Uh, I usually help my workers uh, to support uh, the users, a los usuarios. Okay, users. Yes. Okay, repeat this word, co-worker. Co-worker. Yes, co-worker. Okay, thank you. What about, uh, let me see. What about you, Esmeralda? Janet? Cecilia, Sara? Me, teacher. Jonathan, tell me, Jonathan. Um, however, teacher? However, when helping a co-worker, make sure they don't take credit for your work. I got two points. Okay. Well, maybe a other idea. Uh, I always do everything I can to help my co-worker. Okay. With, with the idea that if I help me today and tomorrow, he will help me. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, someone help, please. Thank you, Jonathan. You're welcome. You're okay. welcome, teacher. <clears throat> okay, what, what about the rest of the class? What can you tell me about the questions? Hola, hola, hola. I need that all of you participate in this. Two questions, please. I'm going to show you again, not that you can remember. You got uh, it? Yeah. Teacher, in my department, uh, is very usually uh, help my co workers with their task. Uh, I am in the support area. Okay. Yes, and it's very often too. Uh, ask help to my co-workers. It's very common that you help your co-worker, okay. Yes, uh, in my department there are many cases, many issues generated, uh -huh. bastante issues generados, okay. uh, and we need the help of our, our co-workers. Okay, perfect. You need to work as a team in order to resolve any problem that you face in order to solve. Yes, that's right. Okay, I got it. I got your point. And that is pretty good. That is the way that we need to work on. Welcome, Don Jose Ernesto Aleman. Glad to see you again. Good night, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. How do you feel today? How do you feel today, sir? I ask them for help when I'm very busy. Ah, Janet. Uh -huh. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't forget to to clash your 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 microphone. Okay, let us continue talking about the two questions that I already showed you and I'm going to show you again in order that you can keep in mind. Do you sure, to in try? my case. Okay, sorry, sorry. hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me see who is, uh, okay, the lady first and then 
the year implement this. Lady, are you there? Or raise your hand if you want in order that, that I can give you the, the chance. Teacher, in my case is because is doesn't not allow In your case, is doesn't allow us to interfere in another area? 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 Yes, area. That means that you are not allowed to ask any, any question or any help to another department. That is what I got. Is that correct? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let us continue. Someone else. Me, teacher. Okay, Edwin, Edwin, Edwin. In my case, it's frequently because uh, the executive needs uh, a lot of consults. For example, uh, superintendencia del sistema financiero or uh, pan de sal or hacienda ministry and I need and I uh, and I help help for day okay I got it okay thank you someone else someone else I need that all of you participate. Come on, you can do it. The last time that I'm going to show you the two questions, do you usually uh, help your coworker with their tasks? Do you often ask coworker to help you with your tasks? Okay, let us continue then. Okay, this is the second one activity. Uh, practice this short conversation with the pattern. Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, I need that you, that you practice this short conversation. I'm going to read again. Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, I need two volunteer ones to do it. Me, teacher. Okay. And let me see who, who wants to help you. Me, teacher. Okay, yourself, yourself, and Gabriel. Let's start, uh, Gabriel. Hi. Okay. Could you print out the bucket file? Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, switch, switch Thank the you. conversation. Switch. Now. Okay. Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Could you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. Someone else. I need to know. Next, someone else, please. Okay, Janet, let me see who can help you. Who wants to help Janet? Me too, true. Okay, go ahead, Jonathan. Okay, thank you. Could you paint all the bubble flies? Right away, Rita. 
Will you meal opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, switch the role, Jonathan. Okay, okay, teacher. Could you bring out the book of the field? Right, away, Rita. Will you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. Pay attention, please. Could you print out the budget file? Budget file. Repeat, budget file. Budget file. Yes. Okay. Budget file. Okay, right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, somebody else. Someone else, someone else, please. Teacher, budget is a uh, presupuesto. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, someone else, please. Anybody else? No? Any questions so far from here? Esmeralda is there, Esmeralda. Okay, I need uh, someone else that can help Esmeralda, please. Yeah, me, teacher. Okay, come, okay. Thank you. Could you bring out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. And could you print out the budget file? Try away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Remember, you need to practice in order to handle new phrases in English. So that is the reason why I invite you to participate and all of you got the same opportunity. What you need to do is just to raise your hand and say, okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, someone else wants to do it? As you can see, the interactions here say, practice this shared conversation with the partner. That means that all of you need to practice. Okay, anybody else wants to do it? Okay, um, Natalie. Okay, you choose uh, your partner if you want. Just take a look at the names that we got there and you are going to mention one. Maybe in that way they are going to participate. Okay. Anybody else? Only Natalie? Again, teacher? Okay, Jonathan. Go ahead. Okay. Let the hair start. Would you bring out the budget five? Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Could you bring out the budget file? Right 
right away, Rita. <clears throat> Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. As you can see, you need to pay attention about the bold words that I got here. For example, could and would you mind? Pay attention to these words, please. Because we are going to use it to make requests. When we need something, when we want someone else do something for us, we are going to use this word, could or good. Remember that you are not going to pronounce the letter L. Not cool. No. Good. And right here it's going to be the same. Good. Not good. Good you mind opening the window. Okay. Sorry, Question. teacher. Uh, la letra L no se pronuncia. No. No, 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 no. no. Okay. It's a silent, silent letter. It's una letra muda. Ahí. The same happen in the in the verb walk. En el verbo caminar es lo mismo. Walk instead of say wall. Conocía también el verbo talk. Yes, it is the same. Instead of say tall is talk. Thanks. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. Do they, they you notice when we are going to use it? Okay, anybody else wants to do it? Okay, let me continue with. Okay, number three is that think of five requests you need to ask in your workplace and compare your list with another one. But first of all, let me do something else here. Hold on a second, please. Okay, I'm going to share it. You are going to do it by yourself. And later on, we are going to do it together. Okay, let me do it. Okay, I'm going to share it with you. Okay, you got it there. Double click there and you are going to open it. Yeah, and it's related with the expression that we are studying right now. So I'll uh, try to do it.
Okay, let me know as soon as you finish, please. Finish, teacher. Okay. What about the rest? Just tell me if you already finished. Finish it. Teacher, sorry, teacher. Hello, Edwin. It's, it's raining a lot and I um, lost my signal. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me share it with you. Okay, we got it here. Would you mind a letter for me? Which one do you sending. consider is the right? Sending. sending, teacher. Would you mind sending? A letter for me. This one? Si. Yes, 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 teacher. Okay. Okay, the next one. Would you mind passing or passing? Passing. In the salt? Passing. 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 passing me the salt. Okay, you say this one, right? Okay, next. Carla, would you mind opening out? Opening up. Opening up. Opening, opening, opening out. Opening, opening up your luggage. I need no, to look but... inside. I need to look inside. Okay, you say open it, right? Okay, next. Good you dinner, please. May. May dinner. Would you make dinner, please? Okay, let me see. Make you sure. 
Okay. What about the next one? Would you mind up the volume? I can hear and turning. 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 The first turning. Turning. Turn it up the volume. Turning. Would you, would you mind turn it up the volume? Turning. Yes, teacher. Okay, I can hear anything. There's no mistake, this word. Right here, there is no mistake, not at all. Oh, yeah. There's no mistake right here. I miss the spelling of this word. Okay, next one. Would you mind the exam? Ostener? Postponing. Postponing? The exam. The exam. Postponing. Okay. Postponing. Okay. What about could you pay or pay the bill, please? Pay, pay. Pay. Okay, we we'll say pay. And the last one is would you like to, to play? Play. To play with us. Would you like to play to play soccer with us? Okay, you say to play with soccer. With use, with use. With us, with us. With us? Yes, with us. Oh. Okay, with us. Okay, let us see. Okay, that's it. Okay, let me see what else we are going to do. Okay, now we are going to continue with activity number three. Let me show you first. In order that you can see it. This is activity number three. We can find it in our material. Okay, uh, so in order to continue, we are going to work in activity number three. I think of three is a request. You need to ask in your workplace and then you are going to compare your list with uh, others. You are going to write down five requests. You need to do uh, in your workplace. Five, you need to write five requests, okay. Let us do it. You are going to have like uh, five minutes, six minutes in order to do it. And later on, you are going to share with the class. Okay, I don't know if you need to take a screenshot in order to keep it with you or not. Do, do you mind if I uh, stop sharing? Hello. Yes, teacher. A question. I ask you a question. Okay, I'm going to ask you later on. Okay, let us work on it, please.
As soon as you finish, just let me know, please. Okay, don't forget, as soon as you finish, let me know, please. And later on, you are going to share your sentences, right?
finish. Okay, be ready to share. If you got in, the, uh, if you have it in, in your computer, uh, you can share your screen. I'm going to let you do it. But if you have it in your notebook, uh, well, we are going to look the way that you can share it. I am in my cell phone teacher and I don't, I can't take a screenshot. Okay, you can. I can't. Uh -huh. I don't know why, but let us find out. Can I read my sentence? Yeah, okay, hold on a little, a little bit. Let us, uh, the rest finish and later on we, we can start doing. Okay. Because uh, if I share a whiteboard, I don't know if you are going to be able to write in down your own sentences there. I'm not pretty sure if you can do it. Let me try to do it. Si yo comparto una pizarra que sea colaborativa, I'm not pretty sure if you can, if you can write it down. Okay, let us try to do it. Okay, if you are able to write down your own request, you can do it there, please. Okay, todos los que sean, a los que se le haga factible el poder escribir, escriban ahí por favor sus cinco requests. Y luego le ponen su no put your name on it. Okay, let us see how many people can do it. Teacher, a mí no me sale la opción para escribir. No. But, but, okay. No me sale cuando usted está en pantalla, pero así como ahorita que la, usted está compartiendo pantalla, no me deja. Really? Yes. ¿Y qué le, qué, le, qué le dice? ¿Qué le aparece? ¿Le, le, le da alguna, algún mensaje de algo? No, en realidad no me aparece ni la opción para escribir. Es Ajá. que esto no se sigue porque estoy desde el celular. Pero en realidad no me aparece ni la opción porque siempre aparece como un lapicito en la esquinita cuando usted está en pantalla. Pero ahorita quizás porque está compartiendo no, no aparece ese Ajá. icono y tampoco aparecen las opciones de las como en las que ya están predeterminadas de Zoom. Ah, ok. Pero no sé si, teacher, si las puedo enviar al chat. Yes, you can share it there also. Okay, yeah, what I can see is you only ask Gabby and let me see someone else is writing down there. Gabriela, ¿usted está de, desde su celular o desde una computadora?
Ah, uh, Jonathan is the one. Jonathan, can you hear me? Teacher, lo siento, eh, se fue la energía, entonces me quedé sin internet. Ok, try to, try to use your data in order to continue connecting with the class. I don't know what happened there, but something happened there. Teacher, ahí están mis, mis ideas. Could you call me in the afternoon? Oh, okay, would you mind passing more paper? More paper. Paper print? Papel para impresora. Okay. Would you mind passing paper print? Okay, I got your idea. Would you mind postponing the assignment? Homework. The homework assignment. Okay. Teacher, ahí escribí las mías, pero no sé si les saldrá. No, no. Porque estoy desde el celular, estoy. I can see it, I can see it. No, no las veo. Sí, vi, vi unas antes, pero no sé qué se hicieron. Let me see. Voy a buscarlas aquí. Okay, I got it here. I don't know uh, who's the owner of this. I, I need to ask for vacation. I need to ask about my salary increase. I need to ask for my report, maybe. Okay, remember the moment that we are going to uh, uh, a request para hacer una solicitar algo, vamos a usar would you or would you mind? Okay, teacher, entonces la voy a hacer otra vez. Okay, don't worry. Well, I'm going to stop sharing. And let us talk about. Okay, um, I guess you are ready. Not that you can share, just read it, and we are going to analyze. Who wants to start reading? Can you inicio? Or if you want to share your screen, you can do it now. Just tell me. Okay, who wants to start? Quien inicia compartiendo sus ideas? Remember, the interaction is this. This is the interaction. Think of my request you need to ask in your workplace. Okay. 
five requests you need to ask in your workplace, please. Okay, let us see who wants to share it. Raise your hand if you want to do it. Yes, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you want. Okay, let us start with Jonathan. Okay, teacher. Um, my my idea. Um, could you call me in the afternoon? Um, will you making coffee, please? Will you might pass me more green paper? And uh, will you might postpone the ass assignment homework? Okay. Thank you. Who's next? Who's next? Next, please. Siguiente, por favor. I'm going to show you the instruction again. Le voy a compartir otra vez la instrucción. Aquí está, mire lo que dice. Think of five requests you need to ask in your workplace. Compare your leave with other. Okay. Let us do it now, please. Teacher, solo tenía que cambiar el need por will. Entonces, digamos en ese caso sería will I ask, ask for my vacation? No, okay, hold on. Say, no. Let, let me tell you. Let me tell you what you are going to say. Okay. Okay, I'm going to share the interaction. The interaction says, I think of Five requests you need to ask in your workplace. You need to ask in your workplace. What does mean in Spanish? ¿Qué significa eso en español? What is, what is request? What is the meaning of the word request? Eso es lo primero que we need to understand. Requerimientos o solicitudes, teacher. Ah, okay. Something that I need. Something that I need related with my job, okay? Maybe, will you mind sending budget five, teacher? Okay. Would you, you, you mind sending, oh, okay. The report right now, please. Ah, you see. And also, uh, you can ask G Gavi. Could you tell me, could you tell me if I can take my uh, year vacation the next week? Okay, it is a request. Okay, next. Who's next? Okay, I'm going to help you. Not that you can have uh, some ideas. Let me show you something here. Uh, teacher. Hello. Solo tengo dos, pero no sé si así será. 
Okay, share it. Tomorrow, a student will leave at 10 a.m. Okay, continue. Okay, in number two, will you take science test on Monday? Okay, what about the first one? Repeat the first one, please. Oh, that number one? Yes. Okay. Tomorrow, a student will leave um, at 10 a.m. I got, I got your message, pero ¿dónde está la solicitud ahí? Oh, es como pregunta, ¿no? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to show you how, how you are going to deal with this. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you this first. Okay, request. Right here, we are going to find out more work. But the main uh, for us today is good. We are going to pay attention about good. Okay, don't worry about... Okay, here we go. Request. What is a request? The act of asking for something to be given or done, especially as a favor or courtesy, solicitation or petition. That is the meaning of request. Okay, take a look at that, please. Take a look at that. This is the meaning of the word request. If you don't have clear right now, you can have it. Para quienes no tienen claro el significado de request, we got a concept here. The act of asking for something to be given or done, especially as a favor or courtesy, solution or petition. Is that clear for you? Yes. El acto dice de pedir algo o de hacer algo especialmente un favor, ya sea por cortesía, una solicitud, una petición. Ok. Ok, in this case, we are going to talk about good and also could. As a formal request, let me see if I can get bigger. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, right here. Let me move a little bit. Okay, formal request. Use could and good to make formal requests. Ask someone to do something. What is the meaning in Spanish of this expression? Ask someone to do something. Pedirle, solicitarle a alguien que haga algo. Good and good. Soften request and made them more polite. Estas dos palabras suavizan lo que se solicita y lo hacen más cortés. You can see it here. Could you work on exercise four? Take a look at this. Could you work, this is the base form of the verb, on exercise four? It's a request. Another one. Could you please write clearly? Could you please write clearly? Or could you work with a partner on exercise four? Okay, take a look at the structure. Observe la estructura, por favor. If you can, you can write them down in your notebook, please. Yeah. 
right there we got the structure. So try to keep it in mind. Okay, what else we can find here? Well, we are not going to talk about penning in will because this is a kind of informal. We are going to see it later on. We also have borrow. Uh, we we also have used good you mind plus yellow. Every time that you are going to use good you mind, you are going to use yellow right here. What is the meaning of yellow? That means that we are going to add ing to the base form to make polite requests. For example, would you mind opening the door for me? This is a Jerome is equal to pay for plus HNG, as I told you before. Would you mind opening the door for me? ¿Qué significaría, significaría eso en español? Eso de would you mind, hasta ahí, would you mind? Let me see if you got my message. Eh, podría ser, ¿te importaría? importaría? Ok, could be. Frase o expresión que a veces no todos eh, la usamos, ¿cierto? Ok, let me continue. Who wants to read this one? ¿Quién, ¿Quién quiere leer esto primero? Let us interact each other. ¿Quién desea leer? Me, teacher. Okay. In, in English. In English. Yes. Okay. <laughs> And my request, would you mind looking over my assignment? I am not sure. It's right. Okay, hold on. And. Okay, hold on a second, please. Permítame un segundo. You say, would you mind looking over my assignment? I'm not sure. It's right. ¿Qué le está pidiendo el niño, el profesor? Tell me, ¿qué está pidiendo el niño? Es como... Es que es una tarea. Como echarle... ¿Que le revise la tarea? ¿Por qué le está pidiendo eso? Because he's not sure. Ok, él está solicitando que el profesor le dé una miradita a su assignment, a su tarea, porque él no está seguro si está correcta. ¿Sí? Entonces él cortésmente le dice, Would you mind looking over my assignment? I'm not sure it's right. Y luego le dice, And could I leave class 10 minutes early today? Y luego, ¿qué le dice? Que quiere salir temprano. Could I leave? Podría yo irme 10 minutos antes de la clase. Ah, ok, pero vea la estructura, por favor, de cómo se hace. Could I leave? Could I? Could I leave? Yeah. I leave. Could I leave class 10 minutes early today? Early today. Ok. In cool, I leave class team. Okay, the next uh, affirmative answer to requests. When we say yes to requests, we usually use the expression to just sure. Certainly, of course, and no problem. At the moment that you are going to answer, you can use this expression like sure, certainly, of course, and no problem. Example, 
This is the student said, would you help me read this? Of course, I will help you. This is a request. Would you help me read this? Of course, I will help you. Okay, this is the way that we are going to ask. Can you read this? Oh, cool. I will you. I will help you. Will you help me read this? Will you help me read this? Oh, oh, course. I will help you. I will help you. Help you. Help you. Help you. Yes. Okay, let us continue. Okay, in negative answer to requests, when we cannot say yes to a request, we usually apologize and give an explanation. For example, would you accept my homework late? I'm sorry, I don't accept late homework. This is a negative answer to a request. When we cannot say yes to a request, we usually apologize and give an explanation. An example say, would you accept my homework late? I'm sorry, I don't accept late homework. Is that clear enough for you in order that you can get the message? Estamos dando una respuesta negativa, pero no decimos eh, exactamente no. Dice, I'm sorry, I don't accept late homework. Questions? No questions? No? Or yes? No, teacher. Okay, let me see here. Yes, let me share something now. Okay, let, what about uh, would you mind? I need to share different information and that way you are going to get picture about this. Okay, as you can see here, we are going to focus our attention in order to make requests. We can use can, good, will, good. In our case, we are going to pay attention about good. This one, would you wash your hand? Or could you buy me some ice cream? We got different way how to do that. Can you bring me some water? Will you take your sister to school or uh, may I turn the TV on? But in our case, we are paying attention about good and good, okay? Okay, let me continue that. There. there is a different way to ask for permission. To make a request. What is it? As you can see there. Okay, would you mind or do you mind? We can use bosses then. And we got some picture here. So uh, try to understand that. Hi, Michael. Hi, Jesse. What's wrong? Not at all. Would you mind if I got some water from your fridge? Oh, Joaquin, oh, Joaquin. Would you mind if I got some water from your fridge? ¿Qué le está diciendo? Tell me. ¿Qué dice? ¿Qué dice? Que si le puede tomar agua del refrigerador. Ok. 
que si puede sacar agua del refrigerador. Ok. Would you mind if I got some water from your fridge? Ok, let, let us continue then. Ok, hold on a second. Ok, what about the next? John, John. Rin, rin. And she said, would you, would you mind cleaning the table? Yes, I could. You should do it by yourself. <laughs> Take a look at that. Would you mind cleaning the table? Right here, we are applying the, the same structure because as soon as we got mine, we are going to use the gerund form. And this is the way that sometimes we can answer. Yes, I could. You should do it by yourself. Usted debería limpiarla también. Okay, what about number three? Take a look at the picture. What is she thinking about? ¿En qué está pensando ella? Just tell me. In a car. In a car. She's thinking in a car. Okay. Okay. Would you mind if I borrow your car tonight? Yes. I good. I don't want you going outside at night. Do you mind if I borrow your car tonight? And the answer is yes, I would. I don't want you going upside at night. What is the meaning in Spanish? Tell me. Será que la respuesta se la da él positiva o negativa? Será que le presta el carro o no? No. No, teacher. Ah, ok, y, y no le está diciendo que no. Como ella dice, would you mind if I borrow your car tonight? Y ella le dice, yes, I would. Si me importa que, no me, que me prestes el carro. I don't want you go out uh, in. I don't, I don't want you going outside at night. Ok. Ok, next one. Take a look at the picture. What is happening here? Tell me. What can you see? Panda. Yeah, but the action, the action. What, what is what is he doing? Eating. Eating. Okay, he's sitting. Okay, take a look. And say, no, 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 of course not. Do, do you mind passing me the soap? Do you mind passing me the soul? And the answer, no, of course not. He is making a request. ¿Qué está pidiendo? Que le pase la sal. Okay, perfect. Okay, and the last one, take a look at the picture. Take a look at the picture. What can you see there? What can you infer about the picture? ¿Qué me dice de la, de la imagen? Um, celebration of gold, teacher. Oh, could be. He, he's celebrating, but what about her? What about she? Okay, let us find out what is happening there. Okay, take a look. Do you mind if I change the channel? And he said, no, go ahead. ¿Qué está pidiendo ella? Cambiar el canal. ¿Te importaría si yo cambio el canal? Y la respuesta de él es? No. Esa parte go ahead, no entiendo. ¿Qué se refiere, Ticho? Puede hacerlo. Go ahead, es hazlo. ¿Sí? Puede hacerlo. Sí, go ahead, do it, do it, do it, do it. Ah, ok. Pero observe la forma tan cortés como ella le pide. 
Y eso es lo que debemos de aprender nosotros. A hacer requests de una forma muy cortés. Do you mind if I le importaría si yo? ¿Sí? Cuando usamos if I y le ponemos el condicionante, ya no va a ir el, el germ aquí. Ok, let me continue. Ok, take a look. Uh, would you mind if I got, if I got some water from your fridge? No, not at all. The second one. Would you mind cleaning the table? Aquí, aquí sí voy a usar el gerón porque no tengo el condicionante if, ni tengo el pronombre. And the answer, yes, I would. You should do it by yourself. Would you mind cleaning the table? Yes, I would. You should do it by yourself. Okay, number three say, would you mind if I borrow your car tonight? Yes, I would. I don't want you go, going outside at night. Number four, do you mind passing me the soul? No, fair not. And the last one, do you mind if I change the channel? No, go ahead. We already talked about this example. I don't know if you got a question related with this. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta relacionada a eso, que es el tema nuestro de hoy. Alo, alo, alo. No, teacher. Okay, what about the rest? Los demás, por favor. No question, teacher. Okay. And the rest of the class? Sin temor, sin temor, por favor. Okay, let me continue then. The use of good you might and do you mind we use them to ask someone politely to do something for you or to let you do something number one asking someone to do something for you example would you mind plus Jeron? and the question do you mind plus Jeron? We can use both. Would you or do you mind? It's up to you. And the number two, asking someone to let you do something. Would you mind if I, the simple past. Would you mind if I, this is the, the, the member in simple present. Ojo aquí. Because it's, it is different asking someone to do something for you. Well, teacher, este, algún compañero podrá tomar una captura de esa parte y enviarla en WhatsApp, por favor. Okay, okay. Good point, good point. Because it's different asking someone to do something for you and asking someone to let you do something. Diferente es pedir a alguien que haga algo por usted o pedirle a alguien que... Lo, le permita hacer algo ¿sí? y por eso aparece cuando lleva el if I aquí no vamos a usar Jerome. solamente con would you mind and do you mind and right here no e, y aquí el verbo va en pasado simple y aquí iría en eh, simple present ¿alguien hizo captura? yes no Hello? Hello? Yes, teacher. I send it. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, we got positive response and negative response. Uh, you can say, no, I don't. No, I don't mind. No, not at all. No, go ahead. No, of course not. It's okay. Different way how you can give an answer. But if you talk about negative response, you are going to say, yes, I do. Yes, I good. I would rather not. It's not okay. Y aparenta que estas fueran las positivas, pero no. Ojo aquí, mira cómo es lo contrario. Cuando son positivas, la respuesta dice, no, 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 no. Y cuando son negativas, yes, 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 yes. Be careful about that, please. 
and take a screenshot too in order that you can keep it with you. Questions? No questions? Hello? Hello? No, teacher. No question. Okay, we got a, a short exercise right here. Okay, uh, I need that you complete these questions in your notebook. And later on, you are going to share with the rest of the class. Okay, as soon as you finish, let me know, please. Okay, try to do it now. Do you know?
Okay, as soon as you finish, let me know, please. Teacher number one, would you mind if I talk a noun? Would you mind if I take, if I take a noun? Do you know the meaning, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, what about some someone result number two? Uh, do you mind if I use your pen? Do you mind if I use your pen? Okay. Number three. Number three. Do you mind sending this letter for me? Do you mind sending this letter for me? Okay. Number four. Would you mind waiting for me? Would you mind waiting for me? Just on the corner, okay. And the last one, number five. Uh, number five. Would you mind if I went with them? Would you mind if I if I went with them? Ah, okay. Following the structure. Okay, hold on a second. Let me see if I... Well, that is the last one. Okay, don't forget this instruction. And we got some example here. Okay, hold on a second. Let me try to... Let me see what else do we have here. Okay, let me let me explain this. This can be the last part. Okay, hold on a second, please. I'm going to share with you. And you can find this information in your material too. So uh, let me explain it before we go. Okay, in activity number five, say how to use uh, could you and good you mind. This is a brief explanation on how to use it. Use could and good you mind to ask polite requests. We already talked about this. Example, could, could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper? This expression, we can use it in our job. Could you make 10 copies of this paper right away? Could you contact the tech support? No problem. Son expresiones que usamos nosotros en nuestros trabajos. Okay, take a look at this. It's our request with could you. Followed by the pay form or the ING form. Tell me. Which one is the correct? Of the main verb plus any complement phrase. Which one of the two options is the right one? ¿Cuál de las dos opciones es la correcta de acuerdo a lo que tengo aquí? Hello, 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 hello. The, the base form. 
of a debate firm. Because you, you got it here. Could you call this debate form? Plus any question. Okay, answer to request with, uh, could you are not normally, yes, I could. Ojo con esto. Al responder las solicitudes con could you, no es normal hacerlo diciendo yes, I could, yes, I can. The expected answer are the action that are request, requested or short answer like the ones in the example above. Observemos las respuestas. Y aquí está dando una explicación que las respuestas a las solicitudes usando could you no normalmente no son yes I could, yes I can. Las respuestas esperadas son acciones a las solicitudes. Por ejemplo, en this one, could you call me later? No le va a decir yes I could o no I couldn't, sino que dice sure. Claro. Could you make a copy of this paper? Ahorita mismo. Uh, could you contact the tech support? No problem. Okay, and the last part that I need to explain you is this. Would you mind calling the plan uh, manager right away? Le importaría llamar al gerente de la planta, por favor? Ahorita mismo, mire. Would you mind getting an appointment with the, uh, the, the human resource for me in a minute? Another one. Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem. As you can see, all of them, we are going to add HNG. This is the general form. Okay, start our request with would you mind plus the bay form or the agency form? Which one is the correct? ¿Cuál es la correcta de las dos? The bay form or the, or, or, or the ING form? The ING form. The ING form, okay. The, plus the main bed, plus any complement phrase. Okay, the expected answer for request with good you mind are not usually. Ojo con esto, las respuestas esperadas a las solicitudes con would you mind uh, are not usually, no son usualmente, uh, no, I would not mind. But are the actions that are requested, son las acciones que se solicitan or short answer, like the ones in the example above. Es decir, el hecho de que aquí tenga would you mind, la respuesta no significa que va a ser yes, I could, or no, I couldn't. No, la respuesta va a ser de acuerdo a la acción que se está solicitando. Would you mind calling the plan manager? I will. Would you mind getting an appointment with the human resource for me? Yes, in a minute. Would you mind attending this box to clean the department? No, a problem. Okay, you got it there. Okay, you got that in your material too. Well, I guess uh, this information is extra. Asking someone to do something for you. First of all, you can use do you my blast there. Well, well, this is plain. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Let me see the material. What else I can find it here? Well, we got an uh, exercise number six. That's a right polite request you receive give at your workplace. And also ask to work in pairs in order to role play child conversation, asking your partner the polite request. And also right here we got number seven, say record the conversation in your phone and share then with your facilitator. So uh, I remember I asked you to write five requests and we can use the five requests in order to complete uh, activity number three. No, I'm sorry, number six. 
You can find all this information on page number 30. Pueden encontrar toda esta información en la página 30 y 29 en su material. Okay, we are so close to finish. Let me see the time. Okay, let me check out the attendance. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here related with this topic. I know that in some places it is raining. Cat and dogs right here is raining too. That means that we got uh, bad weather in Holy Salvador. So we need to be careful about because we got a green alert in the whole country. If you travel, if you have to drive tomorrow, be careful. Be careful, be careful, because I want to see you connected at 8 o'clock again. So let me check out the attendance, please. Bueno, como tenemos mal clima en todo el país, si va a manejar, por favor, tenga cuidado. Maneje el espacio, que quiero verlo en la clase del día de mañana a las 8 en punto, por favor. Ok, America, are you there, America? Present teacher. Ok, thank you, Carlos Amilcar. Present teacher. Ok, Cecilia Maribel. Cecilia Maribel, Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. I am at home. Ok, uh, Esmeralda. Present teacher. Ok. Um, Gabriela Jamilet. Present teacher. Ok, Gabriela. Um, Giselle, Gisela, 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 Hector Enrique. I am here, teacher. Present okay. teacher. Okay, Gisela and Hector are there. Okay, Ingrid. Ingrid, Geraldina, Don Jonathan, Stanley, Perez, Lopez. Good night, teacher. Okay, uh, Don Jonathan. Tell me. You are number 11. This is class number 11. You got 10 minutes in order to ask questions related with any topic at the end of the class. So I ask you to stay until the end of the class, please. Okay, teacher. Okay, let me continue talking about Jose Ernesto Aleman. Are you there? Teacher. Hola, Don Jose. Hi, teacher. Por ahí se nos pierde, Don Jose. Lo agarra el tráfico y no lo deja llegar a tiempo. Sí, pero vamos mejorando. Ok, vamos adelante. Ok, perfecto. Eh, Catherine, Paola. Present, teacher. Ok. Um, Natalie. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Uh, Mauricio. No, oh, ok, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Me salté, me salté. Ok, Catherine, Natalie, Mauricio. Present teacher. Ok, Mauricio, Mercedes. Present teacher. Roxana. Álvarez. Roxana Elizabeth Landa Verde. Present teacher. Ok, Sara. Present teacher. Sergio. Janet. Y Yesenia Lisset. Okay, let me just talk with Jonathan at the end. Thank you very much for the rest. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Be careful because the bad weather that we are facing right now.
I don't know, maybe in your areas, if you're raining padded socks too, right here. I got a lot of weather. So we need to be careful about. Take care. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Yes, Jonathan, stay there, please. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye, Have a nice Good night. Good night. Bye. Take care. See you. Goodbye, teacher. Don Ernesto, ¿cómo está Don Ernesto? Mi teacher, bien. No tuvo problemas hoy para, para llegar a su casa. Un poco, fíjese que sí, como me cruzo el centro de San Salvador ¿verdad? y en mis actividades, pues parte de mi trabajo es conducir un poco a los muchachos donde ellos eh, se les de salud. ¿verdad? Y como ya se les hace noche, ya los últimos buses toman, por eso es que me toma a mí la tarde. Ah, ok, I got it. Ok. Voy a dejar unos que salen para el lado del de, aeropuerto y ahí los buses temprano dejan de correr. <coughs> los planes de bomberos también. Entonces oh. me apuesto ahí a, a que ellos lleguen luego. Y en eso me tomo a mí. Si vengo, de, hoy venía por el lado de Santa Tecla, pero, pero tuve que bajar al centro. ¿va? Y en eso me tomé un poco la tarde, pero logré llegar algo a tiempo. ¿va? Ok. Sí. No se le olvide ver la clase grabada, ahí la puede sí. encontrar la información. Ahí voy viendo videos y todo lo que está en la clase. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Ok. Good night. Ok, good night, Mr. Perez. I'm here. Uh, I don't know if you have any question related with the topic that we already started. Just let me know if you have any question, if you want to... Ask me question in Spanish, you can do it too. I can clarify what you ask for. Eh, quizás para, para formular la, las frases, teacher, todavía tengo ahí, ahí, ahí. Soy muy lento todavía, teacher, para formular las ideas. Okay, but, but especially about the request. Sí. Are you talking about requests? Correcto. Ok, let me show you. Pero ahí sigo esforzándome. La verdad que sí. Ok, let me show you this. Le muestro, le muestro lo que ya vimos. Mira. La estructura es simple. Ok, hold on a second. Let me show you here. We got the structure. Ok, hold on a second. Bueno, well, we got it here. If you, si usted me maneja estos dos, estos dos conceptos, creo que no va a ser difícil el poder generar uh, alguna, alguna solicitud. Mm -hmm. En ambas, por ejemplo, en la primera habla de would you mind y tengo que usar el gero, no sé, la, el ing. Perfecto. El verbo, sí. ¿verdad? Agregándole ing. Sí. Y lo mismo va a suceder si, va, si voy a usar do you. Ya sea que use, use would you mind o do you mind, siempre vamos a usar el, el, el general cuando sea que estamos pidiéndole a alguien que haga algo por usted. Correcto. Ahora en la siguiente, asking someone to let you do something. Pedirle a alguien que le permita a usted hacer algo. Uh -huh. Dice, would you mind if I last the second verb in simple past? Pero el que va a ir en pasado simple es el, el, no el verbo principal, sino el segundo verbo. Y luego, would you mind if I uso el verbo eh, principal en presente simple. Yo creo que um, si manejamos esa de ahí, ahí lo confundía porque los dos los pasaba a, a pasado. Sí, ahí está. Ahí uh -huh. está, ahí está. Entonces, si no tiene una captura de, de, de eso, puede sí. hacerlo. Sí, ahí ya, ya lo tengo acá. 
pero sí, ahí está mi error. Viéndolo a detalle, los dos los pasaba a simple paz. Ah, ok. Le, le... Y el do you mind sí es, es presente simple. El verbo, sí. ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Let, okay us, let us see we got some example here. Well, this is the exercise. Well, we got the bear. Okay, T take a look at this. We, we because we already got the example. Would you mind if I took an app? Mm. That is what you mentioned. Eso es sí. a lo que usted se refería. Mm -hmm. En cambio en este no, en este es use. ¿Por qué? Veamos. Porque en este estoy usando do you mind if I use? Mm -hmm. Y en cambio en este estoy usando would you? Would. Mm -hmm. Would you mind? Ok, veamos lo que sucede en el tercero. Eso no lo vimos con el grupo. Ah, sending. ¿Por qué sending? Mm -hmm. En el tercero, do you mind sending this letter for me? Mm -hmm. Ok, ahora veamos would you mind. De acuerdo al ejemplo que ya vimos, ¿cómo cree que será acá? Waiting for me. Sí, porque, el no, julio, tengo, porque, no, tengo, porque no tengo el if I. Correcto. Miren, wait. ¿eh? Y luego, number four. This is the last one. When. When. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué when? Veamos. Veamos la razón por qué es when. Ah, porque estoy haciendo. Porque would. Would you mind? Y tengo en la condicionante aquí, if I. Mm, si hubiera sido do you mind if si, si no tuviéramos el if I entonces ahí sí podríamos ponerlo esto como bien ¿eh? mm -hmm. would you mind if I went with them ok creo que aquí le resume lo que usted ha estado consultando sí correcto ok let me see if I got something here. And we got some, some, uh, some scenarios here in order that you can make the question from the picture. ¿Cómo podría ser la pregunta? Mm. Would you mind? Mm. Of the radio. Uh, it could be high the volume. Mm. Or, mm -hmm. or, 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 or down the volume. Ahí podría ser subir el volumen o bajar el volumen. Mm -hmm. Of the situation. Uh, about number two. Uh, Would you like? Would you? Would you? Would you mind close opening the door, opening the window? Okay. Would you mind if I open? Okay. Okay. Well, I guess uh, you already got some idea related with this. We are going mm -hmm. to meet tomorrow. This uh, this request. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, I don't know if, if you already got uh, another question. Bueno, y le, y, le Por el momento, no. y le salió bien a don Ernesto porque también vio el ejercicio, mire. Ahí está, ahí está presente. <ríe> Eso está bien, don Ernesto, porque hay, hay cositas que se nos quedan en el tintero y no, no hay espacio para poder hacerlas, pero creo que ahí usted logró anotar también algunos detallitos. Sí, sí, logramos ver algunas observaciones ahí que necesitan. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Al momento de iniciar el día de mañana, hacemos un review. Vamos a tomar eh, algunos rasgos, características que, que no vimos con todos para poder tener más claro eh, esto de el good your mind. Y, bien, sí, y por lo visto, pues la lluvia viene bastante en serio. Aquí está ya más fuerte. Sí, es, es, mañana, 
ya casi no, no, no se puede oír mucho, pero aquí estamos. Les agradezco a ambos su tiempo, su interés. Y recuerden, estamos para servirles de la mejor manera. Okay, sí. okay. Yo trato de la mejor manera a veces eh, participar para practicarlo. Ok, y le felicito por eso, porque esa es la forma de cómo se puede aprender. Y yo siempre insisto, participación activa, participación activa, participación activa, pero todavía hay algunos que no quieren despegar, pero que poco a poco irán haciéndolo. Yo sé que sí será. Ok, teacher. Ok, good night, take care to all of you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye, take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. I see good you tomorrow. Good night. I see you tomorrow. Good night.